where's this bag? Where's this not, bag? It's not on my hand. It's oh, not, it's not hand. on mine. Okay, somebody else spot it. Uh, but you might spot it on the street because it's definitely uh, one a, a looker. It's hot pink or Hello Kitty pink, as you said. I love it. Hello Fuchsia Kitty Fuchsia in color, Porosis Crocodile Birkin, 18 karat gold with diamond hardware. Take a look at that. Hello Kitty. $223,000. <laughs> that is what was sold on the auction block and yesterday. And this one didn't even meet. It didn't meet the one the, million the black Hong one. Kong dollar uh, minimum. Which okay. Is, yeah. So 120, 130,000 was a minimum. Didn't reach that. But the pink Overshadowed one. Overshadowed by the pink. It's just too much of a looker, I think. Uh, so <laughs> here's what it smashed in terms of the records. The previous auction record for Hermes bag, 203,000. It even beat another record that a bag that was once owned by Elizabeth Taylor herself that was sold during a Christie's auction back in 2011. 218,000 for that one. So and it beat out Elizabeth Taylor. It beat out Elizabeth wow. Taylor. Uh, so last year, Christie's uh, first started this uh, handbag auction in Hong Kong, which really has been quite a success. We're seeing increasing demand, especially from the wealthy Chinese mainlanders. Uh, and Hong Kong really has become this global auction center as well. And so the bag was more than, I think, one of more than 300 that were on the block uh, auction block yesterday. Well, you know why we didn't buy it, Yvonne? Why? All the, all the ladies here <laughs> were discussing this yesterday. Because it, it's been used. It's yeah, used. it's secondhand. It's secondhand. Speaking of which, I want to mention this, uh, the most expensive that I, I did a little bit of research. This Himalayan Birkin bag, uh, and it was uh, $432,000. Okay, I really can't afford that. Yeah.